Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. And this is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2021. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Well, not comment because I've disabled the comments. So forgive me for that. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's just cleanse the space here real quick. Um, for those of you that are interested, I do have two candles here for my candle line, Find Your Light. There are six candles total and you can find them on my Etsy shop, which uh, the link to that is in the description box below. My candles are healing prayer candles, okay? They're made with soy wax, essential oils, and crystals known to heal and connect with that particular wound and or chakra. So the first one I have here today is Clear Mind. This is for your crown chakra as well as clearing your thoughts, making them more focused, sharp, and positive, releasing any stress or anxiety-ridden thoughts, okay? And then we have Clear Parent. This is one of my most powerful candles. Clear Parent is to help clear mother-father wounds, um, any inner child trauma that you need to be working through at this time. Each candle will come with a scripture verse on it that you can meditate and or pray on while you're lighting and that will help activate the candle. So there is that if you guys are interested. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started on your reading. I'll start with my blessing for those of you that are new. If I pause at any time during my blessing, please know it's because I am placing my intentions on the cards. So let's see what we have. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to the current life path, life journey, and life cycles, June 2021. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perspective on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua name I pray, amen. All right, let's take a look and see what we have. Also, for those of you that are new, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. I do daily um, posts. Ooh, what do we have here? The World, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and Judgment. So something's ending and you are having an awakening towards what you truly want out of life. Maybe this break or what was said to you really struck you, struck a chord, Scorpio, and a change is taking place. I also do weekly live readings uh, on Instagram as well, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead. All that information is in the description box below. So let's see what we've got here. King of Pentacles, first card out. Very focused on security right now, stability, finances, okay? Ooh, your energy is the Seven of Swords, interesting. Seven of Pentacles, something big happened, something big shifted. Mm. Could be dealing with an air sign, don't have to be, or an earth sign here, we do have earth here. Overall energy is the hanging man with the hierophant underneath. So again, earth sign, you have Virgo and you have Taurus here on the table, Scorpio, with Aquarius underneath. So you're at a pause right now, Scorpio, there's a void. Something has been paused, stuck, it wasn't moving forward. And that's because you needed this time to realize something. The chains are breaking. You're going through some type of awakening, some type of understanding, higher knowledge, higher power here, letting you know what shifts need to be made in your life. I feel that you are breaking free from something that has been holding you back for a long time. This is a way of life for a lot of you. This is a way of life for a lot of you. Could be how you viewed relationships, how you viewed religion, okay? Okay. 
or spirituality. All of that's changing. The veil has been lifted. Somebody came into your life, Scorpio, and woke you up. Could be this Taurus here or Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Maybe this Aquarius too. Okay, but this person brought a lot of healing with them. Caused you to really look deep within. Caused you to reflect on things. Caused you to realize what it is that you want out of life. And what you're doing to bring that to you. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, please. For the energy. So... <clears throat> the energy of this situation is the King of Pentacles. That's making me feel like both of you, both you and this person, might not be communicating, but you're very, very focused on your security, your foundation, your money. Okay, what can I do to make more money? That's what I'm seeing here. Woo, King of Cups with the King of Pentacles. Some of you, you may be dealing with two different people here. Okay, I don't, I'm not actually getting that vibe though, but I have to say it because there are two energies. But I feel like this is um, stabilizing one's emotions, focusing on one's self-care, recognizing where they may need to bring balance, grounding themselves, right? Because King of Cups to me is very ethereal. Um, emotions is, is all about energy. It's all about the next dimension. And then here, King of Pentacles, very, very worldly, very, very grounded. This is all about balance. Yeah, see, something ended. Somebody felt very betrayed. This was a very hard ending. This is not something that I feel you wanted to, to end, okay? You did not want this to end. Tell me more about the King of Cups with the King of Pentacles. Somebody's keeping their emotions to themselves and they think that by keeping their emotions to themselves, that means they're in control of their emotions. And that's actually quite the opposite. That would just be, you know, Somebody who's in control of their emotions knows how to healthily express themselves, Scorpio, without bottling up and not opening up or without flying off the handle. So if you're bottling up and not opening up or if you're flying off the handle, then your emotions are in balance. It needs to be somewhere in between there where you still are aware of your emotions, accept your emotions, appreciate your emotions, express your emotions but don't, you know, overreact, okay? And that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody's trying to figure out what is that happy balance. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, for Scorpio's energy. You feel like somebody got away with something or vice versa, or this person sees you as somebody who got away with something. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. There is some type of sneaky energy here, okay, Scorpio? And so this may or may not resonate with you, and I want you guys to take what does, because remember, I'm reading for a very large collective. So let me tell you the different energies that I'm feeling here. This is your energy right now, Scorpio, Seven of Swords. A lot of you may feel like somebody got away with something, that they took something with you, that they manipulated or lied or cheated their way to the top to get through to a particular situation, that they used you for something. And for others of you, this is how this person views you. That you lied to them about something. It's like they've tainted your name, Scorpio. They've tainted your name. And they feel like you just are in it for yourself and no one else or vice versa. That's how you feel towards that person. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. For Scorpio's energy towards this person and the connection. We're not going to take all that, please. Seven of Swords, please. Some of you, there could be something involving court. Okay, they're giving us two cards. Well, something ending. Ten of Swords with the Seven of Wands. Huh. Both of you are, are, are blind to the truth of a situation here. You're being controlled by your own fears and illusions. There's two people in this situation. And both of you have no clue what's really going on. And I feel like that's due to hidden emotions and hidden feelings that were never expressed. So this relationship was just kind of, it wasn't even really a connection here. It, it wanted to be, but there was so much hidden, so much truth that now both of you feel that the other person has betrayed you or done some backstabbing and you're defending that point. You're defending that point. You feel like you were fighting for something that, 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 shouldn't have been fought for. Both of you feel like you've put in so much work, right? You feel very, very defeated right now and you're trying to defend yourself in a particular situation. 
that has left you very, very stressful, very, very worried. Um, I feel you're up a lot at night. There's a lot of overthinking going on here, Scorpio, very much in your mind. And half the things that you're going through in your mind right now, Scorpio, aren't even real. So you need to sit with yourself and uh, file those out, cipher those out, cipher out the illusions, only stick with what you know 100%. That, that's a great place to start when you're working on learning how to control your mind. Okay. I want to go back to the seven of swords real quick before I move on with the seven of, you have a lot of sevens here, by the way. So seven big did take place. It's like each of you are defending your truth, but the other person is so sure of what they believe about the other, that it's causing such a conflict in this connection. Such a, and both of you, it's funny because both of you are wrong. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm seeing. It's like this person thinks that you got away with something that you lied about something and that you're manipulative and you think that about them and both of you are wrong. It was just the way that you communicate or talk and you guys miss communicated. You misunderstood what the other person meant. And now it's grown into something bigger because of insecurities and unhealed wounds that were being projected onto this connection. Okay, so let's see about the Seven of Pentacles. This person right now, although they feel the same way in our head, you guys are mirroring each other. They're in the Seven of Pentacles energy. They're like, okay, it's either over or it's growing. So they're being very, very patient. They're waiting. They will not come forward. I'm going to tell you that right now, Scorpio. They will not come forward. They're waiting for somebody else to come forward, meaning you, okay? Not not a third party, forgive me. That was like wrong choice of words because I felt somebody's heart drop. But they're, it's like they're saying my turn. I feel like this person, Scorpio, feels like they did everything already. They reached out. They did what they needed to do. They're, they're looking for effort from someone else, so they're just waiting. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Me about the seven. The chariot. Yeah, they're waiting before they move forward. This person may want to move towards you. They are moving towards some type of committed union. That's how they view you. So they're waiting until this moves into commitment. They want it to happen quickly, but I don't think they want to ruin anything. Sagittarius energy here, Cancer energy. So there is some deep healing. Again, like I said, spiritual healing. The divine is stepping in here, Scorpio, that needs to take place. There's the tower. It will be taking place. The divine is stepping in. And again, four of wands. So you guys will be together. It's just a matter of time here. I feel that there are some cycles and lessons that need to... There's some, some rose-colored glasses that definitely need to be taken off. And so spirit wants you to focus on yourself here, Scorpio. <clears throat> Focusing on yourself. The challenge between you and this person has been the sun, the light. Somebody's been really stuck in the dark, so you guys haven't been able to grow or move forward in the way that you had hoped or both of you had hoped. Okay? There was a lot that became illuminated. I also feel like the challenge there is that the things that did become illuminated were very hard to swallow. Very hard to swallow. Tell me about the sun, please, for the challenge. The healing moving forward. The star. This is, you know, healing of addictions, obsessions, very, very toxic, toxic behavior. Here's that King of Pentacles again. So somebody's moving into that stability that has been a challenge. So perhaps in this connection, you've really been wanting to move past a certain blockage, okay, that was in the way between the two of you. Um, and it's been very difficult because somebody viewed you or, or you viewed them or this connection as the ultimate, like this is my person, this is, but there was something very toxic that needed to be released and or healed and it wasn't able to be healed and or released 
in a certain time. Possibly in cancer season is, is when things will start moving forward for you guys. Okay, so the middle of June. Next steps of action though is the hermit. So there is some deep healing taking place. There is a separation, probably not as much communication as you would like, but it is necessary. And it's necessary to utilize this time apart for yourself and, and, and learning how to detach and not stay connected to the outcome of a particular situation. Tell me about the hermit, please. For the next steps of action, why is the hermit here? Ooh. <laughs> that just made me think of my grandmother, sorry. Four of Cups, yes. There's an offer coming in from the divine and it is going to be shocking. And I do feel like it has to do with this connection with this person that you've had, you know, feelings for, but you've also gone through some, some situations with this person that have left you wondering, is this the right choice for you? And so what's coming forward is a realization from the divine, from spirit, that's really letting you know where you want to focus in life and what's important to you, right? Um, and that's for both of you. But you're needing to utilize this void, this space, this time apart to go through everything and remove those rose-colored glasses and really see the past for exactly what it is. What did you learn from it? How can you proceed forward? You know, how can you make things different? Um, because this offer that, that's here, it, 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 it could end up being a missed opportunity. And I feel, I'm almost feeling devastated if that were the case, Scorpio, because it's coming from the divine, this offer. So this 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 new connection or this offer that, that's coming into, this opportunity that is coming into, um, it's something that could be very, very beneficial. And it could be considered a blessing should you let it. Tell me about this Queen of Swords for the outcome. There is communication coming. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who has red hair, long red hair, um, you know, much like this queen here. It doesn't have to be, but, but maybe they do. Spirit is drawing me to see that. This person is very, very um, smart, very witty, has a response for everything. But you will be going back to this person and communicating with them. Um, again, there is some fear though about this Seven of Swords energy. It's like, because I'm seeing you guys move towards each other here again with the hanged man for communication. But it, you've got to work through some issues first to make sure you trust what this person says. Could be dealing with an air sign, okay, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. <clears throat> Tell me about this Queen of Swords with the Six of Swords, please, for the outcome. Truth is going to be revealed, yes, and it's going to leave somebody very confused and overwhelmed. This person may choose to, to continue with taking a break. I don't feel like it's permanent though. Yeah, here's the Queen of Swords. This person is like, you got to come right or don't come at all. This person is seeking the truth of, of a situation and they want facts. Okay, and they may choose to walk away or they're going to express why they walked away. Perhaps that's what it is because somebody was feeling very in the dark. But there is a lot of fantasy about this connection. Both of you are very, very much in your head about this connection and very, very much want to move forward in this connection. Okay, overall energy here with the hanged man and the hierophant. This is like a commitment on pause. This is a commitment on pause because, again, here's the start, because there's deep, deep healing that needs to take place. There's deep healing that needs to take place, okay? And there is a lot of sadness about something ending. Both of you feel the same way, and until you guys realize that and align yourself on that same frequency, I don't see this moving forward until that happens, which is why the next steps of action is the Hermit and the Four of Cups. You need this pause. Stop trying to rush something. Figure something out. There might be something within you that you need to release, Scorp. All right, Scorpio. Sending you guys so much love. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you guys soon. I hope all is well. Bye.